What is going on, squad? My name is Brian Mark. I'm the host of the number one podcast for online fitness coaches who are trying to grow a successful online business without spending any money on ads, a website, or a funnel. I built my fitness business to over $50,000 a month over the course of four years. And in the last two and a half years, I've worked with over a thousand online coaches and a hundred of them have hit $10,000 a month. Without further ado, let's get into today's episode. Welcome to another episode of the Change Labs Make Money Online Trainers Podcast, the number one podcast for online coaches or in-person coaches who want to grow a successful business. So in this podcast, we have Hijack fucking Friday, which is your favorite freaking episode of the week. You got my boy, Caleb, the number one, the only fucking king himself. He's What's a up, fucking squad? Legend. And let's fucking do this, bro. I'm super oh, stoked. Heck yes. Hope you guys are all having a great freaking day. Jeff, how's your day going? It has been a busy morning. We were talking about that a little bit earlier. Like, just like keeping up with like the 10K Academy mm -hmm. is just like, and like helping everybody fucking succeed. Probably one of like, the coolest feelings ever. Like, my phone, like, literally, I'm sitting here looking at my other phone. And I already have 18 DMs that I need to respond to that I've literally just finished responding to. And then I've got my Instagram, then I've got the Facebook community. It's just like, it's so cool to fucking watch everybody grow and develop. And it's just like, it ties in so perfectly to exactly what we're about to talk to today. So I'm fucking 110%. Great. And I, there's no one here that I'd rather do it with than you, Jeff. Let's freaking go. Oh, it made me feel so special. That's my goal. Make your day. Let's freaking go. I love that. How's your day going, bro? You doing good? good? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm hanging in there. Fucking crushing it, dude. You're always on top of it. Like, I know. Dude, you weather a lot of fucking awesome stuff. And like just watching you is fucking inspiration because mm -hmm. you always show up 10 times better than you ever did the day before. I'm like, how does he keep fucking doing this? <laughs> I appreciate it. I got to lead by example. There's And I, I talked about this in Build Your Business inside the 10K Academy today. And, and I've talked about it on Monday Mindset multiple times. But there's you have to hardwire your brain, ladies and gentlemen, to ask yourself like who am i letting down if i don't do this like if i don't show up today who am i letting down like i have 100 clients over well probably 150 weight loss clients almost a thousand members inside the academy my family's depending on me alina's depending on me so like if i don't show up like that's going they're going to suffer because of it and that's Dude. always a thought process that goes through my head every single day because i'll be honest i don't want to wake up at 3 30 i don't want to go to the gym at five like i'm exhausted every single day but i just get up and show up because there's people depending upon me dude i think that's probably like one of like the biggest things that people don't understand about like the habits that you need to create in order to be successful is it it doesn't come down to making sure you have ten thousand online followers i'm sorry but that doesn't make a difference mm -mm. you need to really understand that when it comes down to being successful as an online coach it comes down to hardwiring actually not even an online coach let's just be real when it comes down to being a successful individual in life you need to hardwire your brain to be like hey look something bad happened today what am i going to do well i need to show up for my family mm -hmm. i need to show up for the people who rely on me i need to show up for myself god damn it and mm -hmm. then that allows you to step into your power so when you're having a bad day like y'all remember when brian had covid guess what he did every day he still showed up on a podcast every day freaking i was sick as a well, i don't know if i was sick as a dog last week but like i wasn't feeling good right and like i still showed up caleb got back from vacation guess what caleb didn't miss anything so let's talk about these number these two things that you really need to actually hardwire into your life in order to actually become successful let's do it and if there's anyone watching this live on jeff's platform or the 10k academy try and guess what the two things are jeff said he'll do 100 burpees if anyone can guess it right yeah that's <laughs> He didn't That's say that, bad. but I, he just agreed to it. So you guys got it. I don't think anyone will guess it. But Dude, anyway, it's 100 burpees. It'll take me six and a half minutes to do it at like a steady pace. Now that is impressive because I tried that once. And honestly, guys, there I, I recorded on my own podcast about this. There was one point in my life when COVID hit and I was struggling and I shifted to scarcity mindset. And I actually did 100 burpees. And when I was done with those 100 burpees, I, I went straight back to abundance. And like, it was just a mental shift for me. So if you guys are struggling, try doing 100 burpees and watch your mindset shift. Just start telling you yourself, like, I can, I will, I must. Now, I didn't do it in six minutes. It probably took me 15 because at that time I hit COVID 15 and I was a little, little chunky. Dude, I, I train for burpees. So like, that's different. That's like a CrossFit thing. So like, let's get into this. Let's dive in. So we got okay. some guesses coming in. We got some guesses coming in, but let's fucking do it, bro. Let's go. All right, guys, just like Jeff says, it's not 
having 10,000 followers. It's not being amazing at sales. It's not even commitment, which someone said in the, in the comments. They got one of them right. Consistency. Consistently showing up. It's, think about your weight loss clients for a second, guys. Like It's not about being perfect seven days a week. It's not about being like showing up every moment, every day, all the time. It's about being consistent. If you can consistently get 20 minutes exercise in four days a week and you consistently do that every week for a year, you're going to see progress. And it's the exact same thing with our business. So many people think they have to have the best brand. They have to look a certain way. They have to do these things. Guys, just show up. If you're struggling to write posts five days a week on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and whatever platforms, it's not about being don't perfect. aim for perfect. Just be consistent. And that is going to get you so freaking far in life consistency. And it's not just going to help you in your business. It's going to help you in other areas of your life, your relationship, your finances and everything. Dude, that's a fucking fact. Like guys, you need to realize that consistency doesn't mean perfection. Consistency mm -hmm. has nothing to do with the perfect post, the perfect story, the perfect program, the perfect workout, the perfect DM game, the perfect phone call. Consistency has to do with no matter what day it is, no matter how tired you may feel, no matter what happened in your personal life. And we all all go through shit every day in our personal lives no matter what happens in your relationship you need to show up for the people who rely on you the most and the people you're setting an example for mm -hmm. every day so if you have a son a daughter a girlfriend a boyfriend a husband a wife and you're like i'm gonna do this for you it means on that shitty day you're gonna show up and do it for them even if you don't want to mm -hmm. that is the number one thing you need to understand is consistency because the more consistent you become the easier it is to start to see abundance mm -hmm. when you uh -huh. stay consistent for a year not two weeks not one week not one month not six months when you stay consistent for one year then you're consistent for two years then you're consistent for four years the abundance mindset starts to actually find its way into your life and you start to see more things that are abundant that you already have hey look in the last year i've posted 500 or 400 posts never did that the year before that's abundance you're looking mm -hmm. at what you did right hey you know what i gained eight thousand followers across three platforms in the last year versus I only gained 500 followers on Instagram or TikTok. Like guys, look, don't look at the one place. Look at the abundance. Look at everything you've been doing over the last year. In your Instagram is growing by like 4,000. Your, your TikTok is growing by like 2,000. Your Facebook is growing by like 2,000. There's 8,000 followers. That's beautiful. That's abundant. Mm -hmm. The more you start to identify the small little abundances in your life, the more your brain, which will hardwire itself to actually identify the larger abundance because you programmed it to see abundance in everything. You need to remember that your brain is hardwired for two things. Your brain is hardwired to survive and to give you more of what you believe in. Mm. So if you believe in abundance, you will see more abundance because your brain wants to give you social proof of that mindset. But if you believe in scarcity, if you believe in failure, if you believe you're never going to be good enough, your brain will find you and it will literally go out of its way and fucking highlight every bad thing that happens in your life every day. Mm -hmm. So when you get consistent at doing the little things right. When you get consistent at picking the good things that have happened to you every day, you're going to get consistent at being abundant. Mm -hmm. You're going to get consistent at being successful. 100%. And I love that you're, bring, like, you're kind of already merging into our second one. And I want to highlight one of our clients right now. Yeah. And Anthony Mounser. I'm pretty sure I got that last name right. Mount Sir. Believe it. Anthony, if I got it wrong, my apologies. You guys know how we are with pronunciation. Myself, Brian Cole, and Jeff. <laughs> We're all bad at it. But Anthony Mount Sir, and I'm not going to go into detail because this isn't my story to share, but he got in a little accident a few months, like a month ago. And it took a toll. And he was worried. And his and he he shared with us yesterday, like his business went from like ten thousand dollars a month to like five thousand dollars a month. And he said that he went into scarcity. And guys, you want to know what he did? and has been doing, he wrote down, I'm abundant 50 times every single morning. This is a month after his vacation and he's already on pace to set a, or not vacation, injury. He's already on pace to hit $12,000 this month which would be another record month for him. He writes down every single morning, I'm abundant 50 times. And you want to know what's funny? Uh, last night he told me that and I was like, I'm going to write it down 51 times. That's the mindset I have. And that's the mindset that you guys got to have. If someone's doing something and they're seeing success because of it, success leaves trails. Do things that other successful people are doing. I, I literally copy Brian. 
I ask him, I'm like, yo, can I take that and apply it to weight loss? Hell yeah. He goes live five times a week. I go live five times a week. He posts five times a week. I post five times a week. Now, when it came, and it was funny because on Clubhouse last night, when he said, I'm doing an abundance, I'm abundant 50 times, I was like, okay, I'm going to write it down 51 times. And this morning on Build Your Business, he's like, bro, I wrote it down 52 times because I knew you were going to write it down 51. Like that's the mindset that you have to take. So Anthony Mounser, Thank you for leading by example. Like great freaking work. Congratulations. I know you're gonna, I think you're not gonna hit 12K. I think you're gonna hit 14K this month. So let's go. Yo guys, realize right there what you just heard was two individuals who are super fucking hungry for success. One of them said, I'm doing it 50 times. The other one was like, okay, I'm going to do it 51 times. Then the same guy said, you know what? I did it 52 times because I knew you were going to outdo me. So he was like, "Uh, uh-uh, I'm not even going to tell you. I'm just going to put in the extra one. Mm-hmm. Now, Caleb right there, his brains are like, you know what? Fine, I'm going to do it fucking 55. I'm going to do it 60 times. Yeah, I'm going to do it 70 100%. times. Right? And then you got Anthony's mind. He's going to be like, you know what? I know Caleb's about to outdo me, so I'm going to outdo him. Mm-hmm. And then right here, you have two people who are competitive, but they're competing against each other to push each other to become better right. not to sabotage not to say hey i'm better than you but be like yo bro i did it 102 mm-hmm. times mm-hmm. fuck i only did it 91 i'm gonna <laughs> get right back at it and then you go to right It's to help each other become better. Again, this is consistency and abundance mindset. This is nothing to do with you had a bad day. This is nothing to do with you got to know on a sales call. This is take abundance from the fact that you got to know. What could you learn from that? No. Take consistency from the fact that you did 91 times what somebody else did 102 times, which means you have the ability to improve an additional nine times. Mm -hmm. 110%. And guys, it's so easy to shift to scarcity. Like if you're looking at this as a competition, competition business wise, like you're shifting the scarcity right there. You have to have the abundant mindset that there are thousands, billions, millions of people online that need your help. Yes, there's a lot of trainers, but the market is not oversaturated because there's always, there's 3 billion people that log into Facebook every single day. You just have to change your perspective. Dude, let's just reiterate that. People saying that the market is saturated. No. That is scarcity mindset. Mm -hmm. Guys, how many different phone companies are there? It's not saturated. Nope. How many different car manufacturers are there? It's not saturated. Mm -hmm. How many different brands of uh, models are there. It's not saturated. Realize Mm -hmm. it is populated to what the supply and demand is equal to. So if you want to be good, just get on social media, be consistent. If you want to be great, get on social media, be consistent and practice abundance mindset. Mm -hmm. Stop allowing yourself to play small. Stop allowing yourself to see one bad thing that happened to you. Stop allowing yourself to see that one no that you didn't get, or you know what? I've been consistent for six months and you know, like my business hasn't grown. I didn't get that sale. I got one and one quick you know, like I got that deposit, but they never showed up. You know, I send out a hundred DMs a week, but nobody showed up. It's like you were consistent for six months. Congratulations. That's beautiful. I want you to do that now for another six months, but you know, I'm losing momentum. You know, like I just don't feel like it's there. That's why you weren't successful in the beginning Mm -hmm. because the world, the universe already knew that if you ever hit a spot in your life where you did six months of no growth, you were going to quit. You will never be successful if in the back of your mind, you're always playing the I'm going to quit card if this happens, or I'm not going to do this if that happens. That's why you fail. Because there's a plan B. There's always that other option. Well, you're, you haven't burned your boat. You're not all in. Dude, fuck. Like not even just the burning your boat. If you already think that at one point you're going to quit if something bad happens, why the fuck do you deserve? to have success in the first place. Mm -hmm. Because let's say you get a business of, let's say you get 20 clients, let's go 30 clients. And then, you know, you slow down, you 15 people have to like quit working with you because, you know, finances happen and you're hustling hard, but nobody comes to you. You're going to quit on those other 15 people who are relying on you. Mm -hmm. Why would the universe support you in actually achieving another 15 clients, another 30 clients? When the universe already knows, you're teetering on the fence of quitting on 15 people who entrusted you with their health and fitness. Agreed. 110%. It's huge, guys. And it's not easy. But that's why like inside the 10k Academy, we're like, guys, your mindset is everything. The biggest difference between someone making 5k a month and 10k a month is their mindset. Like, if you want to show up more work on your mindset, because if you're not showing up for yourself, let, and let's be honest, you have time. I'm sorry. That's just a bullshit excuse that you're using. You have time. We all have time. We're just using it differently. Because when it comes down to it, the real thing is, and this might hurt some of your feelings, but the reason you don't have time is because you're too damn busy dealing with your emotions and you're a victim of circumstance. So you're too stressed. 
you have too much anxiety, you might even be struggling with depression, which I'm not saying like, like, like I'm not downing that because I've been there, I've dealt with those things, but if you can't handle them, you can't show up for yourself and then you're not showing up for your family. So you're letting people down that depend upon you. Dude, 1000 fucking percent. It's like realizing the fact that you need to show up no matter what. You mm -hmm. need to be authentically you no matter what. And if you can't do it, what is the reason that you're going to have something that someone else isn't? If you, like Caleb just said, if you want 10K and you're like, man, I've been stuck at 2K. Stop looking at fucking 10K for a week. Stop mm -hmm. looking at it for a month. Let's look at 3K. Let's look at 3K right now. I want mm -hmm. you to picture 3K and I want you to ask yourself, what do I need to do to hit 3K? Yep. Then when you hit 3K, okay, so I made an extra K. Now double down. What do I need to do to make an extra 2K? Guess what? It's being more consistent. It's being more abundant. And it's surrounding yourself with people who believe in you and want to push you to higher levels. The reason why you have yet to hit 10K is because you're focused on something that you don't believe is real. Mm -hmm. Like, guys, why do you think very few people invented airplanes so the Wright brothers did it? Because nobody believed it could be done. Everyone was like, mm -hmm. that's fake. It's impossible. It doesn't work that way. Look at the four minute mile. What was that guy's name? Do you, remember? you know who I'm oh, talking yeah. about, right? Um, that was the Olympics. Uh, I know exactly who you're talking about. That's like one of my favorite like, stories literally yeah, believed, yeah no one no one believed it was possible and then after one man broke the four minute mile like i think it was like yeah i think it was 12 people within the next couple months broke the four minute mile because yeah. it was completed so they believed that it was possible so it was accomplished but if you have a scarcity mindset that's impossible like i guarantee you that four minute runner whatever his name is can't recall sorry buddy <laughs> that he believed he had an abundant mindset that I can do this. Like I'm going to do this. Otherwise he wouldn't have shown up. He wouldn't have done it. That was the Olympics when he did that. Yeah. Now it's the golden standard guys to be able to actually enter the Olympic team is to be able to hit a four minute mile. Mm -hmm. High school kids have to be able to hit a four minute mile in order to be on track teams at the varsity mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. So guys, I want you, like, I want you guys to realize you have the capacity and the capability to be as consistent and as, and as abundant as you're willing to surround yourself with that mindset. Mm -hmm. If you're willing to like, oh man, I'm fucking tired. I'm going to watch Netflix. There's your mindset. There's yep. your consistency. There's your abundance. I and honestly have... think that's why so many people on that, sh like guys, and I, I mean this wholeheartedly, the clients in the 10K Academy that I see in our clubhouse rooms do the best because they show up and they hear us. They interact with us every single day. And I'm not saying, hey, jump on clubhouse right now. We have a room at 2.30 PST time if you want to join us and get better. But like, honestly, I feel like those that's why so many of those students do so successful because they surround ourselves with us and we all have an abundance mindset. So it rubs off on us. Who are you surrounding yourself? And remember, just like Jeff said, your environment is not just your people. It's what you see. It's what you hear. It's what you watch. Yep. Like you guys, if you want to change your fucking environment, turn off the video games and give that, give it to yourself as a reward. Change mm -hmm. the music you listen to. And instead of listening to like, you know, as much as I love NWA 50 cent, I'm not really a big fan of 50 cent, but just for reference, you know, Tupac, Snoop Dogg and Easy E, you know, maybe just change the music to and maybe even house, get rid of the house as much as you love electronic music, uh, EDM, trance, all that. Turn it on to like a podcast, turn yeah. it on to a motivational video, mm -hmm. allow your mindset to start being being reprogrammed for success first and then when you have time to relax then listen to the music i like that you bring that up guys i listen to three hours of motivation a day like my entire workout my entire morning routine like the first two to three hours of the day mindset motivation because right. i want to start to think like other people like guys it's not easy to show up on hard days it's not easy to always have an abundance mindset but that's why we train our mind that because if you want an abundance mindset, if you want to consistently show up, but you don't work on your mindset, you're not going to have either of these things because nope. there's, there's our inner critic. There's other people. There's the biggest thing is us, that inner voice. That's like, what, what if, what will happen? What, what will other people say? What will other people think? And if we don't work on that, that is always going to win. Mic drop. Mm -hmm. So if you guys, here we go. So I want to give an actionable step real quick before we wrap it up. Hey guys, if you want to learn how to have more of an abundance mindset, your one, your perspective is everything, but your intention controls your perspective. So when it comes to your perspective, the way that you look at the world controls the way that you feel about the world, the way that you feel about the world dictates what you do with your life, what you do, your actions. So what you, your actions control what you get. So if you don't get enough, then you need to change the way that you look at the world. So your intention controls your perspective. Let's think about this for a second. Weight loss. Everyone can relate with this. You have a client that only wants to lose weight. 
They want to see the scale go down. What happens when the scale goes up? They have a bad perspective because their intention is only to see the scale go down. So they get down on themselves. They, their action is to go back to old bad habits. They don't show up for themselves. So they don't get much from their journey and you're coaching and they want to quit. But if they have the intention to live their best life possible and the scale goes up, they might be like, okay, the scale might not up, go on up, but Miranda, she's on this live right now, but Miranda taught me that it's not just about the scale. They might actually remember that because they have a different intention to live their best life possible. So because they're looking at other ways to see progress, they continue to take action and they get more from their journey. Same thing yes. with your business. If you guys want to have an abundance mindset, have the right intention. If you have the intention to make money, you will view everybody as a dollar sign. You will view every live as an opportunity to gain a client. Every post will be to make money. And when that doesn't happen, you have a poor perspective and you don't take action in the right direction. But if you have the intention to change lives and then make money, the name of the damn podcast, if, it, if you, like, you're going to start to look at everything you do, and guys, I wake up every goddamn day and I'm like, I'm going to change as many lives as I possibly can. When yeah. I do a live, I'm like, I'm going to impact 10 people. Like yeah. when I go into the 10K Academy and I comment, I'm going to impact people. Like this post, it's worth it if it changed one person's life. So you want to know why I get more than you? Why You want to know why I'm making more than you? Because I constantly have an abundance mindset. He's not worried about making money today. He's worried about impacting a life today. The more mm -hmm. lives he's impacting, over the last two and a half fucking years has mm -hmm. given him the ability to make a larger income. Stop caring about the fucking money up front and care about the lives being changed and watch everything fucking change for you. I love it. Shout out to Janika. She just signed a 16 program. Let's freaking go. Win. Our clients win all the time. Boom. Fucking love it. Let's go. That's okay, all I guys. got. That was fucking fire. That was fucking fire. Yo, Caleb, is there anything you want to close out this podcast with? No, guys, just work on your mindset every day. And if you do that, you'll start to sh show up more. You'll start to look at things differently. And you'll start to become the individual that you need to become to reach your goals. Dude, that's a fact. That right there is a fact. Guys, the man himself, Caleb Zisk, has just fucking dropped you some mic gold. I want you guys to take that in and realize your perspective needs to be around abundance and consistency. And mm -hmm. you will change the world. 100%. I'm good. That was fire, bro. No, I, do, I, I don't know. Like, I can't say anything else. There's just like nothing else I can say. I'm just like, my brain's like, dude, he said it. Let's go. Let's go. Guys, I hope you could take away value. If you ever need help, don't be afraid to reach out. We got your back, guys. That's what the 10K Academy is for. We care and we love you. Mm -hmm. Much love, much respect. Have the best day. Peace, Bye. guys. Have a good one. Online Fitness Coach, thank you so much for tuning in. This is the number one podcast for online fitness coaches. If you're getting value to the podcast and you want to work closely with me and my team to scale your fitness business and learn how to go online, what I want you to do is go to my Instagram, at bmarkfit, and DM me with the words 10K Academy. Our mission is to make elite business coaching affordable for every single personal trainer on the market. And we want to give you the tools, strategies, and tactics that some of our best clients are using to thrive right now in the online training landscape. So go to my Instagram, at bmarkfit, and DM me with the words 10K Academy. Academy, and me and you can have a chat on whether or not I can help you scale your fitness business online.